clearance delivery, King Air, November 555, Foxtrot Whiskey, at the FBO with Tango, uh, VFR flight following, please, to Commerce Municipal, to Foxtrot 7. Roger, I copied the 2 Foxtrot uh, 7 for flight, flight following, can you say you again your call sign? Yes, sir, King Air, November 555, Foxtrot Whiskey, we're on the uh, south end, or the south end of the FBO. Uh, from here to uh, two fox seven flight following please and we'll go at uh uh fifteen five and just to verify it's king air triple five foxtrot whiskey november five 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 foxtrot whiskey sir departure maintain one six thousand departure frequency local channel six and squad four seven zero four Did you copy the follow squad? We're a five 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 Fox Trot Whiskey. Say type aircraft. Uh, triple five Fox Whiskey. We are a King Air B two hundred. Roger. Look at that vertical. Yeah, <laughs> that's cool, man. Those guys have a lot of fun without air conditioner. Without? <laughs> yeah, no AC in those. Really? I thought they did. I don't think so. Number five 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 Fox Trot Whiskey. Can you see a uh, a close uh, airport to two Fox Trot Seven? Uh, Majors Field, Golf Victor Tango is uh, just southwest of Commerce Municipal. And you said Golf Victor Tango. Affirmative, sir. Number five 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 Fox Trot Whiskey. Departure frequency one one eight point two and squawk five two three two. Departure frequency 118.2, squawk 5232 for triple five Fox Whiskey. Hey, sir. Shepherd Ground, King Air, November 555, Fox Trot Whiskey. We're at the FBO. We've got the ATIS ready to taxi to 18. We're at 555, Fox Trot Whiskey, Shepherd Ground, verify departing VFR. A firm, departing VFR to the east. 555 five, five, Fox Trot Whiskey, Shepard Ground, Romeo 186 to Charlie Delta Echo. Charlie Delta Echo to 18, Triple Five Fox Whiskey. Play 1 4, Shepard Ground, Roger. It is impressive how busy they stay out here with the training. Yeah. Five two three two on the squawk. Four point seven ground runway one eight two on the departure. Kilo. Beautiful thing. So by doing the throttles, your differential thrust are you using beta at all or no? Nope. Beta's down in here. I can go to flatten the prop out. I can't go into beta under forty uh, miles an hour basically. Oh really? Okay. So uh, I'm saving my brakes. I'm, I'm not really using brakes. I can. I've got. You know, I might tap them just for center line, but on corners. Oh, that's cool. Who's the throttles? Nine three four, Mike Uniform, Shepard Ground, Taxi Park via Charlie. Right, park via Charlie, for Mike Uniform. We're going to go up here and stop for sure. That and I'm going to run four, four, a couple of uh, tests that I always do pre-flight. Project. Now the checklist. In about once a month, I'll check some other systems. But you know, I don't like running the props up, you know, real high every flight. Um, the aircraft's got what they call auto ignition, so if you did have an engine failure, the igniters would come back on oh, cool. and try to relight, but the more important one is auto feather, so if you did have an engine failure, it would automatically feather an engine once the RPMs drop below a certain limit. So I can test that auto feather uh, on the ground, and I do check that one each, each flight. I mean, we've got automatic rudder boost if you lost an engine you know it, it has a automatic rudder boost in there to help you but again I don't want to run the props up that high but about once a month on the ground just to see if the auto rudder boost will work. 555 five, five, Foxtrot Whiskey contact tower and ready safe flight. Thank you sir we'll contact our Foxtrot Whiskey. So we're going to bring the props up to about 
500 pounds, foot pounds of torque. Right here. Got auto ignition on. I'll hold the test down, and you're going to see right here, auto feather is now engaged. And when I simulate pulling an engine back, and let's say I lost the primary engine, you'll see this comes back. This light goes off over there because you don't want that one, and it's trying to feather. Ah. So that's what you're checking. It will disable the opposite side because we don't want to feather the right engine, right, if the left engine's failing. So now you can see auto feather, auto feather. Pull this one back. It disengages the left side and it's trying to feather the engine. So that's, that's one of the cool. most important tests. Auto feathers engaged. Auto ignition. If you could hear, you'd hear the igniters trying to relight right now at this RPM so yeah. we can keep that down. Okay, flat controls are checked. Auto trim is checked. Checker trim. Trim's good. Flaps are Perhaps are ready for takeoff. Runway heading. Altitude pre-select on the autopilot. One up to 15.5. Hold short and final checks. Auto mission. Auto feather. Lead valves are on. Turn the hot five on. This is heating up the pitot and stall vanes and things. No needed for radar. Can't throw one triple tower attack. You have to hold short. Run one five center. Shepard Tower, King Air, November 555, Foxtrot Whiskey, holding short, 1-8, ready for departure. King Air 55, Sierra Foxtrot Whiskey, make sure that departure, maintain out or below 2,000 until 5 miles south of the airport, runway 18, wind 140 at 6, clear for takeoff. Out or below 2,000 until 5 miles south of Shepard, 555, Fox Whiskey, clear for takeoff, 1-8, I'll do 19. Can't say two ship tire, new on five center, wind one five zero at six cleaver the options. The finale is clear. Okay, good. Pick the throttles up. Got a overspeed governor. We want to make sure this stops at 2,000 RPMs. Both of these. Once they stop, overspeed governor is good. Then we'll bring the torque on up. Can't throw one running on five center. And we lock these seven, down. Seven, we don't want our engine. We don't want throttles just easing back on you. Seven rotate about 90 knots. Positive rate. Here's coming up. T38 on our left wing. And we'll pull the power back just a tad. And start leveling off because we'll hit 2,000 feet pretty dang quick. Boy, no kidding. Prop sinks on. Air vent on over there. There's 1900. We'll hold here. King Air 5 Foxtrot Whiskey for good tender break. Thank you, ma'am. Triple 5 Fox Whiskey. Can't say two, Roger. Pick a poop. Yep. Can't say four, triple tire attack. You have to hook short. Oh, that's on the towers over here. We'll look at this. Let's just stay low. Huh? Let's just stay low and bounce it the whole way down. <laughs> and burn all the fuel down. <laughs> right. <laughs> all right, I think we're there.
guy here we need to watch. Does it say it's tight? Nah, it's just 2,600 feet above us and we're still in a climb. Yeah. I'll level off here a minute. Can't throw four running on five, center one, one, five, zero, eight, take off, just watch it. He behind us now. Parker was uh, part 118.2. Shepard departure, King Air, November 555, Fox Drop Whiskey, 6006 for 155. 10 Shepard departure, I don't. Ken radar contact, 5 miles southeast, Wichita Falls Vortex. King Air 555, Fox Drop Whiskey, Shepard approach, verify 5 miles southeast of Kickapoo, heading south, correction eastbound. A firm, 7003 for 155. King Air 5, Fox Trout Whiskey, radar contact. So in the climb, we're monitoring torque and temperature. And here's our RPM, so we're climbing at 1,900 RPMs. Once we level off, we'll back it up to 18. You get back to 17. It was quiet in the cabin coming over. Yeah. Once we King level up. King Air 5, Fox Trout Whiskey, contact forward center 127.9 or 5. 27, 9 or 5. Good day, Fox Whiskey. Good day. Fort Worth Center, King Air, November 555, five, five, Foxtrot Whiskey, 8,008 for 15.5 VFR. Uh, Foxtrot Whiskey, Fort Sir, Roger, Bowie, Altimeter, 2994. 2994, two, nine nine Foxtrot Whiskey. It's on it. Yeah. That is the radar altimeter in this aircraft, ah. which is kind of tough that it's over there. I can reach it, but that drives the autopilot altitude. The okay. G600, the G5, I have to set those as well. But that's just for indications here. Okay. The autopilot is the one that's important. So as you climb, temperature rises, torque kind of drops off. We keep pushing up the throttles, but uh, I climb at a maximum of 745 uh, degrees. 760 in the climb, maybe 745 in cruise, but you know I'm in no big hurry. But I usually hold about 20 pounds. Or Prop sinks on. Clear wings 269, contact regional approach 119 or 187. Clear wings 269. about 160 indicated to 10. Yeah. And we'll pitch up. 10 to 20, about 140 knots indicated. Two, Doing 202 in the climb eight. ground speed. Yep. Wow. We're 2056 November, cross MOPS at maintain 6000. MOPS at 6000, 56. I first started flying this plane, I'm thinking, my gosh, this nose is high. <laughs> <laughs> it does kind of feel that way, doesn't it? But boy, it leveled out, though. When we first leveled out at 2,000, I was impressed at the forward visibility, though. But you got really good visibility out of your L-39, though, forward, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Uh -huh. you, even in a climb. I like that F-16 canopy back there, though. Yeah, that was oh, cool. <laughs> Upper half of your waist is above the rail. I remember That's the first, crazy. Yeah, first time I sat in one, I thought that same thing. I was like, golly. It feels like you're just sitting on top of the airplane. So now you have to watch your temp. So see, we're at 760 on this left engine. So then you can't hold that 20 pounds up there. I keep seeing flashing. I guess that's Gary back there yeah, taking some photos. Yeah, Gary takes some photos. <laughs> Scare me. I'm thinking that T-38 just flew over and the <laughs> canopy flashes. <laughs> November 2056, November. Contact regional. Now we'll pull the props back. Drop the RPM. Torque will climb a little. Yep. This just is, now that we're at altitude, helps the cabin be a little bit quieter. I pretty much fly at all altitudes at 1,800 RPMs. You can, you can drop them to 17. It's even quieter. Then I'm just at 745 on the temps, and then I match these just from fuel.
Equal fuel bar. Does that stay there? Yep. Really? Okay. Yep. The higher you go, the hotter the temp. Oh, okay. The lower the torque. So when you descend, part of the checklist is obviously monitoring the torque because the torque's going to start rising. You don't want to red line. Gotcha. Four there, shift three one five thirty seven one, descending two four zero. There, shift three fifteen four, center Roger. You'll burn. Yeah, a little higher on the right, but at this altitude, again, I don't have to go that fast. Yeah. Back these off, save a little bit of fuel. Got the tailwind going home. Three hundred fifty pounds, seven hundred pounds an hour at this altitude. Mid twenties, probably is the sweet spot on the B two hundred. And on, I, I go twenty seven, twenty eight if it's a two hour plus flight. But this was what thirty minutes or less over. Yeah, that's yeah, pretty quick. So what What was your favorite part about today? Out of all the stuff we got to see, what was your favorite? Oh, gosh, no doubt. <laughs> Sitting in that F-16, Thunderbird, <laughs> yeah, Thunderbird, Thunderbird F-16, F-16 about, no doubt. <laughs> that, was, that was awesome. It was fantastic. I had no idea. I thought we were coming over to see T-38 hangar. Yeah, yeah. yeah. me too. That's it. I sent uh, photos over to Steve Jones. He said, oh, wow, not just T-38s. Are y'all at Shepard? <laughs> Did he make a wrong turn? Send via the Herbs 3, 7 Victor Bravo. Yeah, when we started walking into that hangar, and I saw the Thunderbird tail sticking up past those crates. I was like, wow, I knew right away. And I was like, man, you guys have a Thunderbird in? He goes, yeah, we got four of them. <laughs> <laughs> that is awesome. I think it's great that they kept the livery on them, too, you know? So. Did he tell you about the number on the, on the side of the intake with the stars around it? It's a no. three-digit three number. When they're flying on the team, it's number one, two, three, four, five, six, six. Right? Yeah, yep. yeah. And when they're not on the team, but they still have delivery, they put the tail number on there. Really? So the three-digit note is the, is the tail flash. Yeah. Okay. What's the longest flight you've made in this King Air so far? Uh, under three hours. Really? Yeah. What What's the range? Uh, five hours, lo longer than really? I want. Yeah, yeah, no kidding. So these hash marks are hours of fuel. So one, two, five, three, five. Foxtrot Whiskey, contact forward center, one, two, four, point seven, five. Two, four, seven, five. Good day, Foxtrot Whiskey. Yep. Forward center, King Air, November five, five, five. Foxtrot Whiskey, fifteen, five. Five, five, five. five Foxtrot Whiskey, forward center, Roger. The uh, gains are allowed. Similar two nine nine or five. Point nine or five. Fox Whiskey. Five Tango Sierra, those targets are likely to merge, turn 10 degrees. So, degrees. hash marks, you know, one, two, three, four, gal, uh, four hours in your mains, and then you're, you've got a thousand pounds in the reserves, and I didn't take on fuel back there in the reserves. Right, just the So, basically, I, we took off the four hours of fuel, 30 minutes, I got an hour flight tomorrow down to uh, somewhere. Central Texas, I forgot where is it is. Fat down and back. Uh, Funeral, oh, that's and then I've got plenty of fuel to get to New Orleans, you know, oh, cool. and plus yeah. we're reserves easy. You know, it's about an hour down to uh, New Orleans, where Matthew and Jillian, the girls live. Two hours to Panama City Beach. It's about two hours, been on winds, a little more. Uh, Denver, Centennial. That's about where we go. Wow. Central. And you, and you do angel flights with this, right? Did angel flight yesterday. Yep. Went down to uh, San Antonio, picked up uh, a patient who has, she estimates she has had 150 flights. Really? Wow. Stage four cancer about four years ago. And she has, she goes to San Antonio, but thankfully her doctor has got a new place that's opening in Dallas. And she's in like Idabel, Oklahoma, which that airport apparently is closed or broken bone. And she's a broken bone. Okay. Airport's closed, so we delivered her to De Queen, Arkansas yesterday, non stop from San Antonio and then back to Commerce. Wow. Five Tango Sierra, Roger, clear to the visual. So That's such a cool organization. And that was an Five Tango Sierra, but.
And 7065. Eight hour trip. You, you know. Wow. Wow. One way. One she, way. Has, uh, she has to drive. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Eight hours. Gotcha. So you be number two for the airport. You got an aircraft about 10 well, That right there is, is a, uh, it doesn't make any difference. If you've got, you got a disease and something you're fighting, you're live. That's nice to be able to have somebody climb down. I don't do a ton of in this. I did probably more in the. Bonanza. We did several in 414. This is probably number four. Wow. The we have the airport. Contact yeah, you just had the J3 restored from the ground up by legend. Brand new 1939 J3. Ground up restoration. And that's the one that you soloed. When I was uh, probably 14 years old, my dad bought that plane. It was a barn find. $3,500. And the uh, A&P on the local field there in Bottom Jones Field worked it up, got it fixed and running. And uh, yep, I soloed that plane on the morning of my 16th birthday. Wow. Got my driver's license that afternoon. <laughs> that's the way to I flew it that's cool. a little bit in 2016, and then he sold it. I bought a 70 CA Citabria, so I got my license on a Citabria when I was 17. And then uh, I bought that plane back in 2016. Dad passed in 2010. But I didn't want the plane. I mean, I think at the time I had the Beaver something. I didn't want it. It was yeah. far wing. And, uh, but I just want to talk to the guy, tell him the story that I had flown the plane. And I, I knew the end number, and I saw uh, found it on... Uh, FAA. Five Foxtrot Whiskey suggests 10 degrees left to avoid approach controls airspace. Copy 10 left, Foxtrot Whiskey. 8 Alpha Juliet, contact force center 132.9 or 7, good play. 3297, fall. Anyway, I just uh, wanted to find him, so I looked up the name on the FAA registry. They give you an address, I wasn't going to write him, so, and they don't give you a phone number. But it was an interesting name, Jason Wandelek. I'll never forget it, Jason yeah. Wandelek. And I said, I wonder if he's on Facebook. I told you that. No. So I hopped on Facebook, boom, there it is, and there's the J3 sticking out of a hangar photo. <laughs> that's the guy. So that's cool. And I didn't ask, hey, let me be your friend. I just went on, you know, sent him a message. This was like in October of 2015. Hey, you still on the Cub? You know, and that's all I said. And he never replied, and I forgot about it. Now it's January of 16. I'm on Facebook, yeah, looking around, and I spot that message, and he still hadn't replied, so I said, okay, he's not on Messenger, and, you know, his settings was such that I could put something on his face, uh, Facebook page without being a friend. Oh, okay. Maybe he reviewed it, but I just said, hey, do you still on the Cub? Just like that, he came back. As a matter of fact, I do. It's on Barnstormers for sale. Oh, wow. Well, I jumped over to Barnstormers, got his phone number, and called him back. I was just going to shoot the bull, hey, I used yeah, to fly the plane. Well, he told me in 1999 that airplane had been... Roger, ground up restored. And I said, you're kidding. He said, no. The guy out of uh, Auburn, uh, California, restored it. And I said, really? And he said, yeah, he has a three-ring binder with photos, ground up. It's in the hangar. And he said, you know, everything's on the ground, whatever. And he said, yeah, I understand he was a really good builder. He's deceased now. And I think I made the deal before I got off the phone. I just said, what the heck? <laughs> it's been restored, so I'll, I'll buy it. Yeah. And I, I flew it from 16 to, you know, probably my son got his tailwheel endorsement in it uh, maybe three years ago. Oh, wow. And when I ordered, when I bought the plane, I did a pre-buy. And uh, not really a pre-buy, but I, I did a pre-buy. You can call it that. Uh, but I did, uh, I ran all the history. So I pulled all the 337s, all the ownership history. I saw my dad's name in the title. It was awesome. Yeah. But the 337s basically said that plane had been crashed multiple times before we ever bought it or oh, before wow. dad bought it. Really? Because it was in a flight school in Addison, Texas. <laughs> <laughs> so, I remember that flight, yeah. So they had, remember, yeah. you know, there was a flight school over there in the yep. 40s and it had been crashed and rebuilt. Well, and then in 1999, you know, the guy rebuilt it and two owners before Jason, or one owner before Jason, um, it came out of maintenance, and the mechanic was a pilot, and he was in a back seat. Uh, the owner said, yeah, you can fly it, and he took somebody for a ride. And the guy in the front seat wasn't a pilot, and the mechanic said, pull the carb heat for me. And he pulled the fuel cut off on base and stuck it down in a uh, sort of a commercial Rocky-type uh, parking lot and hit the right wing. Uh, it went up a guy wire. I mean, the motor had stopped, but it kind of the the motor kind of went up a guy wire, hit the right wing. So they had to pull some skin. Again, another patch in that wood spar wing. 
I just decided, you know, I love the plane, a lot of history with our family, but I want it safe. My son's going to end up with it flying my granddaughters. I said, Darren, I've been talking to Darren about this for two or three years. Really? Darren Hart, legend. Yeah. So I think we did it right. I put the Dakota wing on it. I wanted the aluminum wing. My wood spar wing's hanging in the hangars. Great hangar art. Those Jared, are nice. Jared too. Calvert wanted it. He said, oh, "Sell me that." Oh, really? <laughs> sell me that. <laughs> that is this kind of plane, right? Yeah. Yep. <laughs> but I'm sure there's not a thing wrong with that wood spar wing. But you know. But now you got a piece of If mind. it moves, it it, it was replaced. Yeah. All cables, all turnbuckles, all screws. Wow. It is beautiful. Yeah. It's oh, just three, four, Romeo. I think I gave it to the clear Cedar Mills. Fun plane. Correct. And you had a Peter Bell Super Romeo. You saw his tank taken out in wing tanks, right? Yeah, so now it's got uh, almost 11 gallon, 10.9 gallon tanks in the wings. Uh, so you fuel from the top, There's sort of like a legend. Contract. With contact for center on uh, 12487, goodbye. 2487, eight, uh, triple five Fox Whiskey thing. Four center, King Air, November 555, Fox Trout Whiskey 15.5. Five 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 Fox Trot Whiskey Center altimeter is two nine nine zero. Two nine nine zero Fox Trot Whiskey. American twenty one forty seven begin the speed compliance at Seaver. Altimeter two nine nine zero. Yeah, it's a nine thousand top of sixteen nine nine. Took that twelve gallon tank out of the front seat, so it's amazing. It gives you a little bit more room. Plus, you don't smell the fuel. Yeah. Oh yeah, I never thought about that. A little bit, little bit more room. Charlie Tango, it had a Continental 65 horse engine in it originally and all, but uh, after I bought it, I don't know what year it was, probably 2019, something like that, I was flying it one day, lost the oil, oil sump, and uh, the motor was not running very well, and I decided to come back to the airport, and I, right when I put the, put the tires on the pavement, I pulled the throttle back, and the engine just goes shoop. I mean, the prop oh, just stopped. It seized geez, up. Yeah. I couldn't oh, move it. My goodness. I just pull it to the hangar. And uh, <laughs> Mark Krotke, he had an 85 horse engine and needed a plane. And it was a higher time engine. I didn't want to put it on the Cub. But he found a Taylor Craft up in Arkansas that had a 10 hour since overhaul. Oh, wow. 85. Oh, and he needed the plane. I needed the motor. So we bought that together. I flew up there in the 414 with Craig and. Uh, Craig Johnson and Mark Krotke, they were going to fly the Taylor Craft home. Taylor Craft did not have any brakes, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> we go up there, and I'm I'm taxiing up towards this this Taylor Craft, and I just, I won't say I started cussing, but I said, Mark, you sorry sucker. He said, what? I said, look at that block. The block was like red, white, and blue. On this, this guy had painted the block. You know, cylinders were red, the block was blue, and I'm thinking... Idiot. <laughs> <laughs> and forward center, triple five, Fox Whiskey. Can I now turn back on course? Um, in about, here, I'll let you know in just about a minute or two. Okay. So anyway, uh, had to have the block repainted, and for whatever reason, I painted it gray and put it back, you know, on, and it's, so it's got a starter, and it's a lot nicer, oh, nice. but yeah. you have to have a, you know, a removable battery, so I put a little battery in it. It's nice not have to prop the motor. True. But when Legend redid that, um, it had a handheld radio. The avionics were not so great. So now it's got a little trig battery-powered radio that's pretty nice. They sure did good work over there at Legend, though. Yeah, yeah. they did. Man, they're good. And they're good people, too. Lightning. Information. Number five, Fox Trot Whiskey. Uh, turn 10 degrees right. 10 right, Fox Whiskey. American 2147, contact uh, Fort Worth Center. I make a region approach 125.02. 12502, American 2147. Fort Worth, American 1109 with you out of 312. Forward Center, King Air, Triple Five, Fox Whiskey will cancel for flight following at this time. Stand by. 
southwest 1699 of VFR traffic, two miles southeast on indicating 11,700. And it looks like he just turned to the left as well. Targets are likely to merge. Yeah, I've got him inside. He's passing underneath us. It looks like a serious single engine jet. And uh, southwest 1699, copy that. Uh, when you're able, then just cleared back on course, direct finger, maintain 9,000. All right, left turn, direct to finger, uh, and just going to maintain 9,000, southwest 1699. Thanks. Thank you. And who wanted to cancel flight following? November 555, five, five, Foxtrot Whiskey. 555, five, five, Foxtrot Whiskey. Ready services terminated. 12 feet far, change advisors approved. See ya. Have a good day. Friendly 408, descend to maintain 8,000. 8,000, Friendly 408. Looking for that hole. Right. Oh, I got big holes. So under, there you go. Get closer to the airport. Yep. 12 miles out, so I'll just take this one right here. Fort Worth, Southwest 2013, descending passage 27.6 for 240. Southwest 2013, four center cross finger at maintain 900,000, altimeter 2900. Cross finger at maintain 900,000, Southwest 2013. Zero Alpha Golf, maintain 2809. 289, zero Alpha Golf. Southwest 578, maintain 2809. Southwest 578, maintain uh, 2809. 289, Southwest 578. So 1318. 379, clear direct Sinoc. Three seven nine, clear direct Sinoc. Three seven nine, sir. Is that direct Sinoc? Up from it. Hey, Fort Worth, Mac twenty four fifty six out of eleven five for one seven thousand. American twenty four fifty six, Fort Worth, climb maintain level two three zero. Climb out of two three zero, American twenty four fifty six. Uh, Fort Worth Center, Bonanza 1, Fox, uh, 1,900 feet off the Silver Springs. Want to get to flight following to Tango Kilo, India at uh, 3,500. All right, flight following, of course, stand by just for a moment. Go point, 93 Mike, can I change the advisory? Uh, 93 Mike, uh, radio service terminates, clock bay 4, please change the Bay 4, change the advisory, 93 Mike. We're 26379, are you a full stop at Greenville? Is it a practice approach? A practice approach, is it a touch and go? We have a uh, IFL flight plan to long view, call, call, call for 379. Okay, roger that. Uh, stand by. <laughs> 279 or golf, climb and maintain 11000. 11000, 279 golf. Topless 2265, connect forward with 126.57. 26.57, switch. Blue Street 5036, connect forward with 126.57. 2657, Blue Street 5036. Commerce Traffic King Air, November 555, Foxtrot Whiskey, seven miles southwest of the field. Be inbound on runway 36. Commerce. Air, left base, runway 36, full stop, Commerce. Three down. Three green. Three down the green. Three down. Green. Commerce traffic, King Air, turning final, runway 36, full stop, Commerce. You want to travel again? Two, four, final three, two, three, two, one. Three in the green, flaps are down, props are set.
Traffic traffic, so not on the brakes. That's cool. What a neat airplane. Flaps coming out. Talk about a good proven airframe, too. King Years mm -hmm. have been there forever. 